Hi, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Allison and I work for the County of San Diego. We live in an increasingly digital world and there are many times when you may not easily be able to leave your home, whether due to a pandemic, an injury, or just a busy schedule at home. These how-to videos have been created to equip you with the resources you need to use different mobile applications. So today, I'm going to share with you a great free resource called Yoga for Beginners. This app allows you to practice yoga from home, and it includes a range of beginner-friendly workouts that are easy to learn and perform. In this video, I will show you how to use the Yoga for Beginners mobile app. Before we get started, there are a few tips I wanted to go over with you. First, while we are going through this video, I encourage you to follow along on your own device. Second, feel free to grab a pen and paper to take notes throughout this tutorial. Lastly, please pause or rewind this video at any time if you need to follow the process at a slower pace. Now, let's get started. The first thing you'll do is download the Yoga for Beginners app on your mobile device. For Android, tap the Google Play icon which looks like this. For Apple, tap the App Store icon which looks like this. Once there, type Yoga for Beginners into the search bar and tap Search. Be sure it looks like this icon. Next, tap Install. Before we begin exploring the Yoga for Beginners app, I just want to note that new features are often being added. As we go through this video training, some of the features on your mobile device may look a bit different from what is shown on this video. That is because Yoga for Beginners is frequently adding new resources and features for their users. So after this video training, I recommend that you take some time to explore any new features that you see on your mobile device as well. Additionally, before you begin using the Yoga for Beginners app, it is recommended that you consult with your healthcare provider before starting a new workout routine. After you've installed the Yoga for Beginners app, you will see this screen. There are many different yoga workouts on this app that you can try. Here on the home screen, you can see a list of all of the yoga workouts that they have on the app. Simply scroll down to explore some of the options, which range from bedtime yoga, to energy boosters, to full body yoga workouts. For each option, they include the level of difficulty, time it takes, and calories you can burn. You can also sort through the workouts by some of the categories on the top of the screen. On this top bar, you can see your favorite workouts, explore short yoga sessions, and also sort by difficulty level. Once you find a yoga workout that you would like to try, tap on it and it will take you to a preview screen that looks like this. Here it shows you a description of the session and what yoga poses are included in the workout. If you scroll down, you can see all of the yoga poses that are included. If this looks like a good yoga session for you, tap on Start to begin. Then it will bring you to this reminder before you start your yoga session. You can take a deep breath and get prepared for your workout. Once you are relaxed and ready to begin, tap I'm ready to get started. Once you start your yoga session, the app will let you know what yoga pose to start in how long you have left in that pose, and show an image or video of how to do it properly. For each part of the yoga session, it will introduce the pose to you first, then give you 15 seconds to get ready and situated, and then it will start a countdown for how long you should hold that pose for. If you would like to pause the session at any time, tap here. If you would like to skip to the next yoga position in the workout, tap here. Similarly, if you would like to go back to a previous yoga pose, you can tap here. To view the tutorial videos in a larger format, you can tap on this icon. Then, rotate your mobile device to see the tutorial, time, 
and yoga pose in a larger format. In this view, you can tap the middle of the screen to pause the session and tap again to resume. You can also change the music and audio settings that play during your yoga session. To change the music and audio, tap on this icon, which you can get to from either viewing mode in the app. Then you will see this screen, where you can adjust the volume of the music and voice. You can also turn off the background music or select which music track you prefer. You can also keep the music selection set to random and you will receive a different music track each time. Also in this menu, you can decide if you want a female or male voice to give you the instructions. Once you have your music and audio settings as you like them, you can return to the session by tapping here. At any point in your yoga session, if you would like more help with a pose, tap on this icon. It will take you to a screen that looks like this. For each of the yoga poses in the app, there is an additional video which shows you how to do the pose. And if you scroll down, there are step-by-step -step instructions for how to do the yoga pose as well. Once you know how to do the yoga pose properly, you can return to your session by tapping here. When you are done with your yoga session, you will see this screen. It will show you how many exercises you did, how many minutes you practiced for, and how many calories you burned. Tap here to save your workout. After you save your workout, the app will ask you if you want to set reminders to practice yoga. If you'd like, you can choose a time and select days for the app to send you reminders to work out and practice yoga. This can be a helpful way to form a new habit. If you'd like to set reminders and you've chosen your preferred time and days, tap Set Reminder. If you would rather not receive reminders from the app, tap No Thanks. In addition to the pre-made yoga workouts in the app, you can also create your own yoga sessions. To get started making your own workout, tap here. Then it will take you to this screen. Once here, you can tap on the plus icon to build a new custom workout. The first step in building your custom yoga workout is to pick the yoga poses that you want to include. There are a lot to choose from in the app, so scroll down to see all of your options. They're also listed in alphabetical order if you know which yoga poses you want to include. Tap on any of the exercises to add them to your workout. You can tap on as many as you would like to include. Once you've selected all of the poses you want, tap here to move to the next step. In this second step, you can reorder the poses that you chose and remove any that you don't want. If you want to remove a pose, tap on the red icon. If you would like to reorder the poses in your workout, tap, hold, and drag this icon to rearrange the exercises. Once the poses are in the order that you like, tap here to go to the final step. In this last step, you can customize some of the settings. First, type a name for your workout so you can save your custom yoga session. Then, you can also customize the amount of time that you do each yoga pose and how much time there is for rest between each one. Circuits refers to how many times your poses will repeat. So for example, if you change it to two circuits, your workout will repeat one more time after you finish it. Finally, circuits rest is the time between each circuit if you choose to do more than one. After you finalize these settings, it will show you how long the workout will be and how many calories you can expect to burn. Once everything is set how you like it, tap here to save your custom workout. You can find your custom workouts and go back to them later by tapping on this icon. Then it will take you to this screen where you'll see the name of your workout, the time it takes, and the calories you can expect to burn. As a free app user, you can create two of these custom yoga workouts, but to create more than that, you will need to purchase a paid subscription. 
However, all of the pre-made yoga workouts that we went through earlier will remain free and you do not need a subscription to access them. Next, we will go through the progress section of the Yoga for Beginners app. Tap this icon to see your progress and you will be taken to this screen. Here, the app will keep track of how many workouts you've done, the total number of minutes you've practiced yoga, and how many calories you've burned. It also includes a calendar so you can see how many days in a row that you've exercised. Additionally, if you scroll down, the app will keep track of how many consecutive days in a row you have practiced yoga. This is a great way to make yoga and exercising into a new habit. In addition to tracking your yoga practice, you can also tap here to track your weight in the app. It will take you to this screen. Here, it will show changes in your weight if you choose to input your weight data into the app. If you scroll down, you can tap here to enter your current weight, and it will bring up this screen. Here, you can type in your weight and tap Save to begin tracking your weight in the app. As you input your weight data, the app will also show you on this graph the changes in your weight by week, month, year, or all time. Simply tap on the time you would like to see and it will show you the changes in your weight. Finally, we will go through the settings in the app. From the home screen, tap on this icon to get to the settings page. In the settings, you can upgrade to a premium, paid version of Yoga for Beginners. Tap here to join the paid membership. Or you can tap here to manage an existing paid subscription if you have one. Also in the settings, you can leave feedback for the app and contact their customer service department with any questions that you have. You can also change the reminders that the app sends you to practice yoga by tapping here. Some of the other things that you can customize in the settings are your yoga session preferences like time adjustments or circuits. And at the bottom of the settings page, you can see more information about the app, including an option to reset your settings to the default settings if you would like to. As a couple of closing reminders, there are many free yoga workouts in the Yoga for Beginners app. So explore the different categories to find what's best for you. Or if you'd like, you can create your own yoga workout with all of your favorite yoga poses. However you end up using the app, I hope it helps you exercise from home in a convenient, relaxing, and easy way. Thank you for joining me today. Below this YouTube video in the description, you will find the Yoga for Beginners website link which includes how to contact their customer service department in case you need any additional support, how to contact the County of San Diego if you have further questions about this specific training, and also links to our other YouTube video trainings. These videos were created to advance the Live Well San Diego vision for a region that is building better health, living safely, and thriving. Thank you, and continue to Live Well San Diego.